hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good guys today we're going to be reacting to charlie kick blast college students hypocritical argument on terrorism guys let's get right into this hi uh so as someone who who claims to be such a bastion of uh, freedom of speech why do you call the protesters outside terrorists um outside of say one broken window well, it's more than one broken window, assaulting cops, spray painting, the death threats that they throw at me, the violent intimidation, the graffiti. But that's not, don't you think it's bigoted to call all protesters who are outside as terrorists when a handful of minority might be representing um, some... Wait, uh, why would it be bigoted? Outside? They're mostly white liberals without jobs. Sorry? <laughs> why is it bigoted? They're mostly white liberals without jobs. But it's call, you're calling all protesters terrorists? I'm calling Antifa out there that are anonymizing their identity, sending death threats to my family, smashing windows, and spray painting the campus the entire week leading up to this terrorist. Yes, I absolutely stand by that. But so, so the, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, the, a lot of them are just college students who don't agree with the point of view that you're propagating. Well, maybe today. they should have come to the front of the line and asked a question like you and not acted like somebody in a third, in a third world country where we settle our dif where they settle their differences with gang violence. But just to be sure, those people who are there to register their protest aren't terrorists. Okay, the terrorist definition is a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Did they do that? I, I don't think. I don't think so. I was, Wait, hold I on. Was the, a person who unlawfully violent, window smashing, graffiti, assault Not against all police of them. officers. Not okay. all of them. Ho hold on a second. The leaders. They cover for themselves. And by the way, we only a small of them are isolated and they're all in one big black block. And don't, don't try to, you know, don't try to gaslight the people here or the people watching online. There's hundreds of them. They're working in a coordinated network with coordinated tactics. And these are not just quote unquote college kids. There's obviously somebody behind this with funding and sophistication with quasi paramilitary tactics. And let me ask you a question. Why is it? that when people go into the United States Capitol and take a selfie, they're called terrorists by our government. But when you start to terrorize and smash windows and put violent threats and death threats to me, it's somehow bigoted to call them terrorists. So first of all, it's not, it wasn't a coordinated effort as someone who was there. Um, I didn't, I just knew that there was this event happening and that there would be a protest to, um, in order to register um, our, our point of view. I, I was not part of any coordinated effort, and neither were a lot of the other people who were there. We don't appreciate the label of being terrorists, especially a lot of us well, are from this? countries where you shouldn't appreciate is very the, spread, the, so. the label or the activity. Why don't you come here and say, you know, I'm pretty damn embarrassed that people that agree with me resort to violence instead of going Absolutely. up here and trying to lecture me yeah. about calling them terrorists? Absolutely. But this isn't about. You're making a I fool of yourself. Why don't, don't you know. go out and talk to your buddies and tell them to stop know. trying to shut down our event? So I don't know why your response is always a whataboutism. I mean, I'm just asking it's if not. you, if you I'm take asking back questions that not you can't answer ism. What? I've, I've answered each of your questions. I'm just saying no, that let me ask you a not question. everyone is will part you, of let me a ask you a question. Will, will, you, will you publicly condemn the violence done in the political spirit outside by the people that you were protesting alongside? Will you do it that right now? It depends what you're referring to. Smashing I, of windows I, I, and assaulting police officers. I don't think breaking, breaking windows is a good idea. Assaulting but police officers. Do you condemn that? No one that? assaulted police officers. You what? I was there. No one assaulted police That's officers. That's lie. That's not there. true. Throwing eggs and objects at police officers was... is a legal definition yeah, yeah, of assault, assault, no matter how much you try to gaslight so it or just, spin it. If I can just, without, without resorting to whataboutism, using your definition of terrorism, if the police uses unjust violence against civilians, should that also count as terrorism? Absolutely not. But first of all, your definition of unjust... I'm just taking your definition of No, no, no. Let me, let me read this again. Unlawful Sorry. violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. Antifa doesn't just do this here. They did this in Sacramento and assaulted one of our Turning Point USA employees I'm not Antifa. and sent one of them to the hospital. Antifa, oh, by the way, the same buddies, the same tactics, the same coordination, the same wardrobe, the same language, the same signs. You know what they did two weeks ago? They arsoned and firebombed an entire police training headquarters in Georgia in massive coordinated fashion. And so 
right now what we are seeing is the rise of left-wing domestic violent extremism and the failure to acknowledge or admit it means that you are blinded by ideology thank you for being here tonight we'll get to the next one but guys that is definitely terrorism like sorry 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 but his definition of terrorism ends this question because what they did yeah they can be tagged terrorists i mean if you want to have a peaceful protest i mean if you want to have a protest your protest can be peaceful you don't have to go about breaking glasses assaulting officers by throwing them eggs no 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 i mean there are a lot of people who have had who have had protests and like they go out peacefully they want to be here that is why they are protesting but you don't have to you don't have to do things that could get you arrested just all in the name of doing protests now it's clear that their protest wasn't a peaceful one so if they are you know assaulted by officers i mean you can't blame the officers and then why like why all because you don't you're not buying what he's selling <laughs> it doesn't make much sense I, I see it as you know a really really bad thing to do like a really bad thing to do i mean it's okay for you to have a different perspective a different concept on whatever he's bringing to the table i mean there are a lot of people who come to my school to give speeches and say a lot of things and yes i may not agree with you but maybe i want to do protests it doesn't mean i have to break glasses destroy government properties all in the name of i want to be heard it's not right it's not right and it is an act of terrorism so if it's happening you need to stop but guys the more you think about this i want to share your honest opinion on this like do you think it's terrorism because for me i stand that it is terrorism there's a way you go about being head and it doesn't have to always be about violence so tell me what you think about this don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel i love you guys